So today I am finally doing a persimmon video. They are showing up in the grocery stores and the markets and I have Fuyu and Hachia to compare. I have had Fuyu persimmons before but I have not tried the Hachia varieties. Um, so researching persimmons has been fascinating topic to deep dive for many reasons. Um, but one of them that's interesting is some of them are astringent varieties and some are not. So Fuyu, you can eat it um, hard or soft. I've had these for a little while now, so they've begun to soften up. But um, the Hachia variety is one that is astringent, so it's going to give you that dry mouth feel if you um, have some of it when it's not soft enough. So this one here, it's beginning to soften up, but really what you are looking for is it being much more red and like you can depress the the skin with your finger like that and this one this one's just almost completely ready if not ready like it, this side might have some stringency to its taste but i'm gonna give these a shot i'm very interested to see what these taste like and compare it to the fuyu all right i have selected the softest you that I have. And I'm just gonna bite into it and make a mess of myself, I'm sure. Wow. So. So persimmons have a unique flavor. I want to say mango-esque, but that's really not quite right because it's it gives people like fall um, vibes because they you know they mature and ripen in the fall. So they're available in the fall. People ascribe like cinnamon notes to these and I would say that's that's accurate. It's kind of like an aftertaste that's like reminiscent of cinnamon. So I think what's that's what's meant by that. I'm doing good. I haven't made a total mess of myself yet. <laughs> but I do want to try some of the Hachia now before I fill up on the Fuyu. So I've got the one that is just very, very soft. This is, I think I'm going to make a mess of myself, so I'm going to step over here above the sink and we'll see if I get that astringency. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that is an incredible flavor. Wow, that's amazing. How do I describe that? So, I almost feel like the Fuyu I had can't even come close to this. 
So So it's like it's like the Fuyu, but this particular fruit is just so much more juicy. So I'm getting that flavor just at an intense rate. And it is quite strong. This is delicious, I have to say. Wow. So it, it almost reminds me of pumpkin in some sense. So if you haven't had an opportunity, opportunity to try these, now that I've had it, I, you've got to try these. <laughs> um, this one is a seedless to mostly seedless variety. I was actually hoping to get some of that astringency just to experience it. But man, this, this tastes incredible. This, <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this good, I'll be honest. But it is dripping everywhere. <laughs> it is so incredibly juicy and flavorful. I think I have it on my face. <laughs> so it is, is a bit fibrous and stringy. And this one has a little bit less of that like mango-esque flavor I was um, alluding to with the Fuyu. Maybe it's more in the background. It still has those um, like cinnamon, like aftertaste notes, however. Total slob of myself. I just devoured the this hachia. Let me go back to the um, the fuyu and give it more comparison. Oh, you know what? So I think I got a little patch of the um, the skin on the hachia that was. Um, a little bit astringent, so I got some of that dry mouth. Interesting. So on the Fuyu, when it's still um, more firm and stiff, you can pretty much eat it like an apple. This one I let get softer because I was waiting on the uh, the hachia to ripen. So this one is more like a tomato now. But it's a little bit more orangish, not quite as red as the, um, the hachia, so the flavor is not as intense. And if you, 
if you research these yourself, you'll find people asking like, oh, what's the best persimmon? And they're all good. <laughs> They're just like different angles on the same thing. Um, there are, you know, the astringent and non-astringent varieties. So for instance, the reason Fuyu gets the rap as being the most popular is because you don't have to wait for them to ripen to eat them. And since they're so firm and so stiff, they can travel well and they make it to the stores and last long on the shelves. So that is why they're just more well-known. They are the most well-known persimmon, I think, is why what has made them the most popular. They're all, they're all incredibly delicious and I've definitely made a mess of myself. So in this head to head matchup of a uh, Fuyu versus a um, Hachia persimmon, I would say for these individual fruits, I think I enjoyed the Hachia more this time, but I could have easily just, you know, ripened this further, or maybe I got a stronger tasting um, Fuyu. They're both incredibly delicious, so I would not be able to choose one. And there are other varieties that I have heard of, and I very interested to try and when I get my hands on them I'll talk about them um, there are chocolate persimmons which have like a I believe a darker um, inside and they kind of I don't think they taste like chocolate but they are kind of like reminiscent in some aspects is what I've heard and then there's American persimmons, which are more native to the eastern side of the United States. I have ordered some American persimmon seedlings, and so I'll be growing them in the garden. Um, and so maybe some years from now, I'll have some. Um, also, persimmon genetics is another interesting topic to deep dive. Um, I am no expert at all, so I won't get into it here, but just reading about the different varieties and the genetics that are within persimmons was quite interesting. So anyway, starting to ramble. So these were just a couple persimmon varieties. Absolutely incredibly delicious. I was kind of speechless there for a second with the, the hachia. Um, <laughs> but definitely get yourself some persimmons if you have not had them. Try whatever varieties you can find when they're in season 